on the tree valley with all the birds and busy honeybees. The hops is plain, the bird winging, it has night all through the day. And down the lane, singing, a song that takes your every care away. Oh, and all the roses climbing everywhere. And the scent of honey. I've got it. Got what? Why, our house. What house? Where? Why, right here. Now look, here's the... You would think of the kitchen first. Say, you're a fast worker. Ring in the morning and building a house in the afternoon. Under the competition the way it is around here, a fellow's got to work fast. Fuzzy, you get a frog in your throat? You see that, Mom? Insults is what I get for trying to be a gent. For not walking in on a couple of love birds without first warning them. I understand, Fuzzy. You've been in love, too. What? Me in love? Say, I know better. Woman is, was, were, and are trouble. Well, I like that. Oh, 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 oh Tom, the sheriff sent me at you. He wants us deputies to meet him over in Pine Knob. Prompt trouble? Well, not yet, but it's coming. Uh, looks like your father's caught up with them fellas that's been holding up the ore wagons. I'll see you in a minute. I'm sorry, Alice, but I'll ride back to Lark's wife. You're gonna be mighty proud of me someday when I take over my dad's boots and star. I am proud of you already, Tom. But please be careful. Careful? Honey, us Bentleys lead a charmed life. Son. Dad, what's on your mind? Scar Adams and that gold shipment. Well, what about him? Well, I figure the wagon carrying the gold is going to reach Devil's Pass about 4 o'clock this afternoon. I had the mine superintendent let out the news of the shipment, and Scar's a cinch to hear it. Now, my plan is to meet the wagon about here.
That's funny for a married man. I don't see why you figure to get married know how. and cook and cook and cook and wash and iron and for what? For a lazy man. Are you all right? Sure. Don't let Scar get away. Dad, take care of Dad. Come on, Fuzzy. Dad, come on. Don't you worry about Tom. <laughs> He's a chip of the old block. Why, you ought to be happy. Why, Jim. Yes, Jim. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. No, it's wrong. Don't ask questions. Do as I say. Here, quick. Get in here. Remember? You ain't seen me. Tom, come in. Well, what brings you out this way? Scar Adams. We laid a trap for him, and he escaped after wounding Dad. His trail led to your ranch. Well, he must have kept right on going. We haven't seen any strangers around here. This Scar Adams is a tough hombre. With him in the vicinity, I'd keep my eyes open, Mr. Denton. Well, I've got to get going. Alice, if Dad is all right, I'll see you tonight. Tom, please be careful. Well, I'm too ornery to have anything happen to me. And remember, Alice, as long as there are men who break the law, there's got to be officers to run them down. I'll see you tonight.
That was the right smart piece of action. I couldn't have done better myself. Why did you have to come back here, Jim? Why shouldn't I? My home ain't it. You're my kin folks, ain't you? But listen, Jim. And don't call me Jim. Scar is my name. Scar Adams. I at least dropped the name of Denton. Well, that's some in your favor anyway. You've got to talk. You're responsible. Look at this scar. A mark that keeps you from associating with honest people. And you put it there. You deserve it. And you've been a thief ever since. I did that in a moment of anger. I didn't mean to do it, but I caught you stealing. Oh, you forget about it. It's too late now to hold a crying bee. I just settled with Sheriff Bailey for trying to lay a trap for me. And when I settle with his son, I'll pull out. Jim, you can't mean that. Tom Bentley and I are to be married. That's too bad. We'll meet someday, and when we do... And by the way, here's my calling card. Look it over. What's the verdict, Doc? You're going to have to give up chasing bandits for a long time, Sheriff. But you'll do plenty of kicking yet. You mean, how they... I'm afraid so. For a good... Oh, but I can't do that, Doc. Why, well, I've got work to do. Well, Dad, how about Tom being appointed acting sheriff until... That's a good idea. It sure is. Keep a battle in office. That's That's right. Right. What do you say, Dan? We're all in favor of Fuzzy's suggestion. You couldn't find a better man, Jed. Good luck, Tom. Good luck, Jim. Oh, how is he, Doc? Well, he won't be pushing up the daisies for a good many years yet, Tom. See you tomorrow, Sheriff. Here's luck, Tom. I know you'll make good. Did you catch up with that car, Henry Tom? No, they got clean away, Dad. How about you and the other boys, Fuzzy? Any results? Say, what's everybody congratulating me for? <laughs> they a little loco? You're a new sheriff, Tom, if you'll take the job. But what about you? Fuzzy, did the doc lie to me? Ah, uh, keep your shirt on. Everything is understood. Your dad's out of the running for a while, but until then, you step into his booth, okay? Well, that's different. Gee, Fuzzy, won't Alice be happy when she hears the news? Women. There you go again. I'm telling you, women are dynamite. I'll see you soon, partner. Hey, wait a minute, Fuzzy. Don't forget, women are dynamite. Well, Fuzzy. You know, honey, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. Shh. I'm thinking. What about? You know, I can't remember what kind of pies we have today. Oh. I'll tell you. You go in and get the pies, bring them out here, and I'll tell you what kind they are. Why, that's a swell idea. Why, you're wonderful. You're, you're absolutely mediocre. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Go on, get the pie, will you? Uh, you wait right here. I'll be back. All right.
Plum. Lemon. Um, cream. Custard. Cinnamon. How, how do you spell it? Uh, S K uh, 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 It's apple. I've been trying to tell you. That's the plan of the house I'm going to do for you after we're married. Married? Uh -huh. oh. oh. Honey, that man's here again. And say, have I got new or make you wait until later. Say, hey, what matter? You look like you'd seen a ghost. Maybe I shouldn't have told you I trailed scarms in here. Maybe. I know just the thing that'll cheer you up. Let me have that thing. When I get through, I'm gonna tell you something that'll make you the hammer of. Shadows of blue behind on me. Can't you tell me now? No. You're not in the right. There's a yellow, mellow moon a shining. If it could only read my mind, it'd be a cowboy heart pining for the girl he left behind.
was a yellow mellow moon a shining if it could only rain my mind it would see a cowboy heart of mine and for the girl he left behind that's mighty pretty music son hello mr denton Dad, Tom said he had something important to tell me. I wonder if you Well, mind, I reckon this uh... is no place for me, then. I'll see you both later. Wait a minute, Mr. Denton. This is something that I want you to hear, too. Folks, I want you to Tom Bentley, the next sheriff. Well, uh, isn't somebody gonna congratulate me? Why, you act as if it was bad news. Well, the whole town's behind me. I'm a cinch to win. And it'll mean extra pay and... The end of everything between you and me. Alice, what do you mean? I mean, if you become sheriff, Tom, I'll never marry you. Well, I don't understand. Just this morning you were happy and, and we were planning well, and... I changed my mind since then. I couldn't live that kind of a life. Worrying and waiting. Wondering every time you went away if you'd ever come home. Why are you so afraid? Why, you act as if you knew I was going to get killed. You can't become Sheriff Tom. I'm serious. If you take that office, I'm through. Well, Mr. Denton, there's nothing I can say. You don't have to become Sheriff. Why not settle down to ranching? After all, happiness is what counts the most. I can't do that now. Why well, I owe it to Dad? Well, you owe something to Alice. Now, she has a right to more happiness than being a wife of a sheriff would bring. So it is you again, Fussy. Pasting up my windows here. Hey, Yango, you will take this and... Hey, you can't do that to my friend. So oh, is that so? Yes, that's so.
Quiet, Tom. Hello, Fuzzy. Say, what's the matter? You look like you're going to a funeral instead of a... you now, but I know it's for the best. I'm getting married. Settling down the ranch. Well, in other words, I'm not going to run for sheriff. Well, what are you standing there for? God heard the loco steers. Get out! You heard me? Get out! Speaking in of a shotgun and let you down like this? Well, you just didn't know what you were saying, son. There's always been a Bentley leading this town. Well, you can be married and be sheriff, too. Not with Alice. She ain't willing. And besides, I don't want her to go through the worry that Mother's gone through. Being sheriff's a job for a single man. But don't you see, Tom, there's a code in this range and you're breaking. My mind's set, Dad. Somebody else can take the job. If Alice loves you, she'll not hold you back from doing your duty to the town. If she's making a weakling out of you, I don't want to have anything more to do with her. So you needn't invite me to your wedding. I'm sorry, Dad. did right, partner. I reckon a man has to sign sometime. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but never had the sand. Takes nerve to tell him off like you did. Yes, sirree. Howdy, George. Got a match? I reckon I didn't hear you, partner. Ranching's a lot safer than being a sheriff. Yeah, I think you're right, Jim. Do you think he's yellow, too? Well, I, I don't know. That'll give you time to think it over. Dan can't lead a posse. The doctor says you're gonna take care of that. Scar Adams and his gang is running hog wild over this country, and somebody's got to stop him. I aim to leave here in two hours with the posse. Looks like the whole town's turned out for the wedding. Ain't you going? I don't know. Well, after all, the boy's all I've got. Maybe I have been too harsh. Reckon I'll run up and wish him good luck anyhow. You go on ahead, though, because I've got to look over a deed of some land I'm giving him for a wedding present. Okay, Dan. See you at the wedding. So long. Sheriff Bentley's gonna run me down, eh? It's the dope I heard in town today. He returned to his office this afternoon. He's getting a posse together. Well, I reckon we'll have to team. Mind his own business. Come on. is going to be our house here. It's just a plan. Now, right over here, right around on the other side, they're going to have a potato. I'm going to build a potato here. You mean patio. Sure, that's what I mean here. Then over on this side here, on the second ring, they're going to have five bathrooms. I just like to take a nice bath here. And right down here, we go, they got a nice bedroom. Here, a good house here. There, we're just going to have it here. That's the house I'm going to build for you. Here, I 
think I ought to have an owl here. Stubborn as a new boot, but he'll soften. Oh, I know he won't let me down. After all, it is my wedding day. Well, are we ready? Yes, but do you think we could wait about five more minutes for Dad? Why, yes, indeed. you sing a song while we're waiting for your father? Why, certainly, Axel. What would you like to hear? Well, that's good, Herr. Uh, well, I also like to hear uh, the, the old ancient farm. I don't think I know that. Sure you do, Tom. It goes something like this, Herr. Yes, 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 yes. Do you by any chance mean the old home ranch? That's it, by Yango. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> the old home ranch. <laughs> There's just one place I long to be My critter's waiting there His only heart is missing me And days we used to share I just left him in his office a while ago.
I wonder what they was looking for. If my sight's all right, one of those fellows was Scar Adams. Scar Adams? They got away. We're going after them. You round up the posse and follow us into the Badlands. If we locate them, we'll send up a smoke signal. Come on, Tom. Time's a wasting. Where you been, Scar? Don't ask any questions. Get me something to eat. Saddle me a fresh horse. Let's try and signal a posse. As soon as I leave, you fellas get ready to move the herd we rustle from the bar M. Where will we take them? To the Denton Ranch. It's near the border. We can hide them out there for a while. Oh, but what about old man Denton? Don't let that worry. I'll take care of him. As soon as things quiet down, we can pull out. You ain't letting young Bentley scare you out, are you, Scar? Now, you fellas meet me at the ranch. Scar, what's that? Somebody must have dropped a cigarette. I don't know about that. Come on, let's see.
back. The shoulder. I'm going after Scar. Go ahead. I'll be all right. refuse to have anything to do with bull and cattle. You've used this ranch for the last ten hour power, you. Now, if you don't care anything about me, at least give your sister a chance for it. <laughs> what? With that half-baked sheriff, Tom Bentley? He's crossed my path for the last time. The next time I meet up with him, I'll give him some of the same medicine I gave his old man. He was my own son. I understand, Mr. Denton. Honey 
do then. Uh, would you... Would you give me a kiss? for a married man? I don't see why you figured to get married no how. Are you all right? Sure. 
Don't let Scar get away. Dad, take care of Dan. Come on, Fuzzy. Man, come on. Caught up with them fellas that's been holding up the ore wagons. I'll see you in a minute. I'm sorry, Alice, but I'll ride back to Wharf's wife. You're going to be mighty proud of me someday when I take over my dad's boots and star. I am proud of you already, Tom. But please be careful. Careful? Honey, us Bentleys lead a charmed life. Son. Dad, what's on your mind? Scar Adams and that gold shipment. Well, what about him? Well, I figure the wagon carrying the gold is going to reach Devil's Pass about 4 o'clock this afternoon. I had the mine superintendent let out the news of the shipment, and Scar's a cinch to hear it. Now, my plan is to meet the wagon about here. kitchen first. Say, you're a fast worker. Ring in the morning and building a house in the afternoon. On the competition the way it is around here, a fellow's got to work fast. <coughs> What's matter, Fuzzy? You get a frog in your throat? You see that, Mom? Insults is what I get for trying to be a gent for not walking in on a couple of love birds without first warning them. I understand, Fuzzy. You've been in love, too. What, me in love? Say, I know better. Woman is, was, were, and are trouble. Well, I like that. Oh, 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 oh Tom, the sheriff sent me at you. He wants us deputies to meet him over in Pine Knob. Prompt trouble? Well, not yet, but it's coming. Uh, looks like your father... 